Hello my friend, happy to see you here. Really interesting, tricky problem today. Which one is bigger, this one on the left or this, or this one on the right? We have 88 to the 99th or 99 to the 88th power. Which one is bigger? On the first side we cannot do this because this is a giant power, 99 and 88. We can solve, we can solve it even with our telephone because it's hard to say what is bigger. But I'm going to show you a really good math tricks right here, so I hope you will enjoy it. Of course, first of all, we have 99 and 88 right here. Both numbers can be divided by 11, so we can easily find 11th root from both sides. So on the left, 88 right here, and on the right, we have the same 11, 99 to the 88th power. And a lot of students know this moment, because right here it's really good to write it in another way as a fraction. So 88 to the power 99 over 11, and right here 99 to the power 88 over 11. So we can easily write it, because this is like the main property with this square root. We can write it as a denominator of this power. And as of course we will write it because we can be divided. It can be divided. 99 over 11 is 9. So we have 88 to the 9th power. And right here we have 99 to the 8th power. So we have this, this situation. What we're going to do next? 9 and 8, this is like odd number, even number, so we cannot work with this. But 88 and 99, we can simplify in the same way. So we can write this 88 as 8 times 11, and to the 9th power, of course, and right here 9 times 11 to the 8th power. So we can write it like a product. But if you know a little bit about, about powers right here, so we need to raise right here this 11 to the 8th and this 9 and this 11 and this 8 right here. So as a result, 8 to the 9th times 11 to the 9th and 9, 9 to the 8th times 11 to the 8th power. So we have this expression. And right now, as you can see, right here on the right we multiply this right hand side by 11 8 times and right here we multiply it by 11 9 times. So if we divide both side both side by 11 to the 8th power, from here we can easily cancel this because we divide by 11 to the 8th and from here if we divide it we cancel this 8 times but right here we still have one time this 11. So as a result on the left hand side we have 11, 11 times 8 to the 9th power and on the right hand side we have 9 to the 8th power. So we have this, this right now, these elements right here. But what we're going to do next? It's really good to work with 2 and 3 because right now we can write this 9 as 3 square to the 8 and this 8 as 11 times right here 2 cube to the 9th power. And let's apply this rule right here. We need to multiply our powers. So as a result 11 times 2 to the power 27 because we multiply it and right here 3 to the power 16. But one really interesting moment, how can we compare this 3 to the 16 and 2 to the 27th power? I'm going to show you a really good trick right here, because 2 to the 27th power, right here, 2 to the 27th power times 11 is greater than 2 to the 27th power times 2, yeah? So right here on the left hand side, this is greater than this expression, which is equal to 2 to the 28th power. So right now we can easily start working with this one, 2 to the 28th, because this is less than this one, and we can easily write, so change in our minds, as 2 to the 28th power. This is our left hand side. What about right hand side, 3 to the 16th? Let's leave it as, as it, as it stays right here, so 3 to the 16th power. And right now, if you look closely to this 28 and 16, it can be divided by 4. So we can easily take 4th root from both sides. So from here and from this one. So we have 2 to the 7th, because we're taking 4th root, and 3 to the 4th. And, of course, the last step. What about this? 2 to the 7 and 3 to the 4th. We know that 3 to the 4th, it looks like 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 81. Yeah? So we have 81 on the right-hand side. What about 2 to the 7th power? Can we find it's 2 to the 7th? So we have 2 cube times 2 cube and times 2. As a result, 8 times 8, 8 times 8 times 2, each is equal to 128. So on the left hand side we have 128. And as you can see, this on the left is greater than this on the right. But what about this substitution? We had a substitution, a little bit substitution in our mind. Let's write our final inequality. So we have this that we have, so 2 to the 27th, times 11 is greater than 
2 to the power 28, which is greater than 128, which we have right here, and which is greater than our 81 that we have on the right hand side. So this is our right hand side, right here, this left hand side, this is our left hand side, and this is our left hand side. So our left hand side is greater. So 88 to the power 99 is greater than 99 to the power 88. This is my solution, of course, you can find another way, how can you solve it, but if you're interested in, in this, you can write it in a comment, and of course, thank you so much for watching, if it's not hard to you, please leave a like and write any comment, I really appreciate it, it helps me a lot, it improves my content a lot, so if it's not hard to you, I really appreciate your support, thank you, and have a great day.